Lord, send the rain. Pour out your spirit. Let the fire fall. Heal us one and all. Fall fresh on me. Lord, send the rain. Pour out your spirit. Let the fire fall. Heal us one and all. Fall fresh on me. Holy, Holy Spirit, let the fire fall. Heal us one and all. Fall fresh on me. In Jesus' name I ask, Father. Amen. And here I embark on reading the book of Revelation. So, of course, we start with Revelation chapter 1. And, and I want to pray really quick again. Father, in Jesus' name, I ask that you fill me with your spirit. That the, that the words that you, that you spoke to John here and the words that John wrote may come alive to all of us that we may have new understanding Thank you. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name. Okay. Revelation chapter 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass, and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Hmm. Who bear record of the word of God, and of the testimony of Jesus Christ, and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. John. Okay. Here we go. John, to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you. And peace from him which is, and which was, and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne. And from Jesus Christ, who is, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead. Oh, hallelujah. And the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us, and washed us from our sins, in his own blood. And hath made us kings. And it's made at verse six. Let's go up here. And hath made us made us kings and priests unto God. Whoa. Verse six. And hath made us kings and priests unto God and His Father. To Him be the glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. Behold, He cometh with the clouds. And every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of all earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. Jesus said, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. Hallelujah. I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation and in the... <laughs> And in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ was in the isle that that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the spirit of the Lord's day on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and last. And what thou seest, write in a book, and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, and unto Smyrna, and unto Pergamos, and unto Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. <laughs> And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, 
clothed with a garment down to the foot and girt with girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned a furnace, and his voice as the voice of many waters. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. <laughs> Hallelujah. Verse 17, <laughs> And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead, and he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last, I am he that liveth, and was dead, and behold, I am alive forever, forevermore, amen, and have all, and have the keys of hell and death. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Write the things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the, and the seven candlesticks which thou, hast saw in, ha, thou, which thou sawest are the seven churches. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> You know how many times I've read that and what I just read is totally, it um, blows my mind. Okay, Revelation chapter 2. <laughs> Unto the angel of the church of, of Ephesus write, <laughs> These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience and how thou canst, thou canst not bear them which are evil, and thou hast tried them which they say are apostles and are not, and hast found them liars, and hast borne and hast patient, patience, and for my name's sake hast labored and hast not fainted. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and I will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. Okay? The, the only way, okay? <laughs> the only way is to repent. But this thou hast, that thou hatest the deeds of the Nicola Nicolaitans, which I also hate. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. See that? Paradise. Okay? <laughs> Hallelujah. And unto the angel of the church of Smyrna write, these things saith the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Mm -hmm. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may, <laughs> that ye may be tried, and ye shall have... Tribulation ten days, <laughs> but but thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. <laughs> he that here hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that hath, uh, the he that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. <laughs> Hallelujah! What that means is. You have everlasting life if you can overcome. And to the angel of the church of Pergamos write, uh, These things saith he which hath the sharp sword with two edges. I know thy works, and will thou and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. And thou holdest fast my name, and hast denied my faith, even in those days wherein Antipas, Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. Says Satan's in the churches, people. Be careful 
where you go to church. You need to read the Bible for yourselves. Interpret it for yourself. You don't need a man to interpret it for you. Okay, verse 14. But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit fornication. So hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which thing I hate. Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He that hath an ear, let him hear the, what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new, <laughs> a new name, which no man knoweth, save, saying, <laughs> saving he that receiveth. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> There's a new name written down in glory. Hallelujah. Okay. And unto the angel of the church of Thyatira write, These things saith the Son of God, who hath his eyes like unto a flame of fire, and his feet are like fine brass. I know thy works, and charity, and service, and faith, and thy patience, and thy works, and to the last to be more than the first. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel. Okay? Y'all see this? Jezebel. Okay, I'm going to read this again. Verse 20. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calls, which calls herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. And I give her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. This Jezebel spirit is what is in the churches, people. Okay? This Jezebel spirit is what has a hold of my son, Matthias Anthony, right now. And right now I want to say, The Lord rebuke thee, Jezebel. Behold, this is verse 22. Behold, I will cast her into a bed, and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. What this means is, anybody who is committing fornication, out of marriage, um, out of wedlock, uh, fornication, sex, whatever it may be, okay? He is going to cast you into great tribulation, except they repent. Okay, there are no exceptions to this. If you're out there doing the dirty with somebody that you're not married to, okay, this includes you, Matthias Anthony, I'm speaking to you now. I'm speaking to the world now. This is the Lord. This is Jesus speaking. Okay, verse 23. And, and listen to this one. This gets even worse. And I will kill her children with death. And all the churches shall know that I am he which searches the reins and hearts. And I will give unto every one of you according to your works. This is Jesus warning us. He's saying, hold up. Pull the reins, people. Stop doing what you're doing. Get on your knees and repent. But unto you, but unto you I say, and unto the rest of Thyatira, as many as have not this doctrine, and which have not known the depths of Satan as they speak, I will put upon you none other burden, but that which ye have already hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him I will give power over the nations. Okay? This means that those of us who can overcome, we're going to be running stuff. Okay? The meek shall inherit the earth. Okay? That was verse 26. He, and I'll read that again. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him I will give power over the nations. You hear that? You hear what that means? Those of you who are called according to his purpose are going to be leading the nations. Okay? 
But you have to overcome. Right now, this world is under Satan's domain. You know, that God is in control, however. He, Satan, had, Satan rules and reigns right now. Because Satan has been given his time. And he, in verse, at verse 27, And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I have received of my father. And I will give him the morning star. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Wow. That is incredible. Jesus is coming. Repent. Repent. 